quick clip to show you how I use my masking float. I have my paper. I have a very thin brush. You can use any old brush you want. I've already put dish, water, uh, dish soap on it to keep it uh, soft, uh, but more importantly so that I can easily remove the fluid when I'm finished. So I have my uh, bottle of masking fluid here, and I've just put a little bit in a cap. Um, you can also use a little shot glass or something like that. W whatever you use, you don't need a lot of masking fluid. Uh, whatever you use, you can rinse it out immediately after using your fluid. So here I've got a little piece of uh, watercolor paper, and I've drawn on to... Uh, Two, four lines to represent two trees. So it's not rocket science. You just take your brush and you apply it. And when you apply it, you, you're, all you're doing really is simply brushing on the masking fluid. Now you don't get a second time. You don't get a second shot at this. Don't overstroke it. There's that word again. Overstroke. Just just brush it on and you'll see that it's self-leveling and go over your outlines of your trees or no you better not because um, well yeah you can okay what am I talking about yeah go over the lines of your trees that's okay you're not you, you shouldn't have put down um, very dark lines to begin with light 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 pencil lines for your trees um, I've left my pencil lines dark so you can see where I'm applying the masking fluid. Okay, so now it's on. Hopefully you can see the shine of the masking fluid that uh, has been applied. Leave it. Let it dry. Go eat some chocolate. And when you come back, it will have dried to, to this. A nice, shiny, rubbery surface. Now, to take off the masking fluid. I use this little gadget that I showed you earlier last week, this rubber eraser, and all I would do is pull the eraser along the top. And see, the eraser grabs a hold of it. Okay, now, the idea is not to simply pull it at that point, because you'll rip your paper and abuse your paper. Instead, keep using your rubber in a motion, just like I'm doing. Okay, so that piece of masking fluid is now coming up, but it's sticking to the eraser. So just keep pulling like this. And then I break it off, and then I go back, and I keep pulling it. But be very, very gentle when you're pulling it. I tend to kind of collect it so it rolls, the masking fluid. Be very, very careful because you can tear your paper and tear the top part of the surface off of your paper. So now I can go and pull the masking fluid. Okay, now there it finally broke and you can see it's on the eraser. So just pull that off and start again. Small, gentle, rub off is really... I, I was going to say small gentle pull, but it's not really that. It's really rubbing it off. See how it's rolling now? The masking fluid is rolling. That is really, really effective erasing. Who would have thought that there's a right way and a wrong way to erase? Now it's pull. There. Go back and pull that little bit. It's all now come out in a little roll. As you can see, that's effective erasing. Okay, so watch your masking fluid dry. Eat some chocolate, and we'll back back for the next part.